Hello everyone, welcome to Heal Force channel. This is Gloria from Health Force Group. Next, I will introduce you our Heal Force device. Heal Force is established in 1991. It's a company for more than 30 years experience in, in medical device field. We have main products including the laboratory medical device, the surgery medical device, and some infant incubators or ICU surgery beds and so on devices, and such as some certificates, CE certificates, FDA certificates, and some other certificates, is required by some American countries, or other European countries, and other certificates. And the next, I will introduce you our Heal Force Carbon Dioxide Incubators. Flow me and next I will introduce here. And hereby I will introduce you our Heal Force Carbon Dioxide Incubator. Carbon Dioxide Incubator is the incubator that simulate the creature inside environment cells culture process. We should make sure the temperature, humidity and carbon dioxide percent. These three data for simulates this process. The temperature used usually for incubators at 37 degrees Celsius. And the carbonate contains usually 5% carbon dioxide percent. And for the saturation humidity of the water is usually 95%. These incubators are usually applications such as some medical sales culture cultures. And some usually used in some cancer researches, steam cells researches or some medical laboratory experiments. And next I will introduce you our devices for each model one by one. Firstly, is our Heal Force HF100. HF100 is a trigas and multiple gas type incubators. Trigas apart from carbon dioxide or oxygen, there's also add some N2 gas to protect and adjust inside the environment inside the devices. Now let's beginning. It's HF100 devices, equipped with a big colorful LED screen. You can see it shows the keywords of some setting data and shows temperature, shows carbon dioxide content and other setting. You can see here, for the setting process and collaborations, functions, and system, information. And if you need some help, it's here. One by one entering the first set, first set we can set the temperature inside as we but talked before is for 37 degrees Celsius usually, and the carbon dioxide value and then the pH arm, a setting and then the gas setting switch. We equipped with the gas A and gas B switch to make sure it inside the environment steady. And then next, temperature deliberations and carbon dioxide deliberation and the origin collaboration. And then enter the functions as including differentiates drawings, fan model air auto zero. Air Auto Zero is our design and process for these incubators. And then the carbon dioxide. Minus zero carbon dioxide manual zero is every 24 hours. We'll set it back to zero. And enter the system. We can set the data time and running model set and alarming boots and curves at right side. And then there's some information. We can set information for two months inside these incubators. While you need some data or some record, you can set it back to buy a USB disk. And here is the including the second, there is the system information sensor, add data, history data, and temperature sensor data. Okay well, after this, I'm citing process, let me show you inside structures, our heel force incubators, whole design the round corner with 304 SS material inside it. You can see is a one big glasses door, and also three independently small glasses door, so that you can operate each with samples independently. While you open this, the middle level, the up level and don't level is closed will not have an influence for each side. And as you see, the shape is also polished well 304 SS. It is a slide inside design, so that we can operate it easily, and then you can see as our fan is German type, EBM brand, which is a German brand with a very good quality. And then next, is our humidity pan for fill some water inside it, the water envelope and produce some water gas to make it a saturation humidity inside these incubators. The humidity pan you see is round corner design with which is easy to clean design. And as you see this, 
Trigas is our star products with inlet and outlet pop connect to the pump, water pump. When you press the bottom, it can pump water inside it directly so save human labors. The most important part is the carbon dioxide filter and sensor and our filter inside this device is HEPA brand. And the next is not try gas is only carbon dioxide. And this is, as you see, is our HF240 type. This type volume is 240L. As you see is a, the press button control panel to setting the temperature and the carbon dioxide percent and high temperature as a 95% to satisfy the to remove the bacterium. As you see also it is one glass door design. It can also be customized um as most we can set six inside small glass doors if the customer needs. And here is our it is address bottom is here to start up easy to operate. And then next is our best seller type of carbon dioxide incubator model. It is our HF90 carbon dioxide incubator. Well, it's called HF90, but the whole volume of this device is 151L. You can see inside it, there is also a touch bottom control panel to set. It also equipped with auto start process. And with this bottom, you can see inside it, we set one glass door, one big glass door and a S well as three independent small glass doors. We open it. This is the size that some samples here. You move this sample and if you need to take it to another place and need some time to open so you can open only one door and left other doors closed so that we can make sure the steady environment inside and other samples have the best experiments resources. And then next is our HF212 carbon dioxide incubator. This HF212 carbon dioxide incubator is volume for 212L. While the customers need the incubator for around 200 liters, we recommend this type. This type is equipped with ultraviolet ray light. You can see as this panel disconnect we can set. This set, set the auto start process and setting the temperature. This is setting the temperature and this is cycling the carbon dioxide item content. And then is our HF151 carbon dioxide incubator in your better. This HF151 carbon dioxide incubator is the same volume with HF90 model. Its volume for 151 liters you can see. We can also set the carbon dioxide percent content here. It also equipped with auto start process and load control. You can see here is also the similar structure with the HF90 model and well, this is all air device models. Apart from these models I introduced before, we also have a HF160W type, it's a water jacket tap, the former I introduced all air jacket type. If your requirements need water jacket type, you can also contact us for some more information. And the next for some more details, you can reference some heel force carbon dioxide incubator videos, for you know more about our device. A well-maintained carbon dioxide incubator will make your working process integrity and quality and make the cells culture process well. And during our operation process, what we should do and what we should not. After my introduce about each set of carbon dioxide incubator, you will know about our healthcare device.
Next, I will introduce you some safety tips during your working process to making your working process optimally. Number one, while we working now I lift the open door never left the door open like this, because this will bring some room contaminants into the device's chamber. Number two, we need setting some samples, among this setting process we should keep proper space among each sample. Leave the proper space among each sample during your working process. Number three, during this process of adding samples, we should avoid some unknown or potential harmful components so that we can get a well experiment results. So after setting, we will close the door and make it steady inside environment and close the door one by one. Number four, to observe adequate ventilation around this device. We should allow proper heating and gas dissipation around the incubator, but do not directly set this device in the path of moving air currents. Number five, we should set this device on a bench or table, never sighting it directly on the floor to prevent some pollution or room contaminants inside chamber, also can prevent some water gas, and like South China area it will be very high humidity, so we can prevent some water gas inside I. Number six, we should never set this device nearby some flammable materials or devices that produce excess heat. We can make the temperature inside this device steady so that we can make the temperature inside chamber steady, make us have a best experiment result. Number seven, while we connecting the power resource plug, we should make the power resource is right. In some areas, some Asia area is same with China power resource, but in some South American areas is different. Usually we are such as, for example, we are 220V voltage. But in some South American areas they are 110V voltage. So be careful about this. Number 8. While we setting some gas port like this, you can see as our HF100 carbon dioxide incubator shows, as we can see our HF100 carbon dioxide incubator. For example, while we setting the gas part, we should ensure a two-stage gas regulator gas pressure regulator connect to this device so that we can avoid overpressurization gas supply inside this device. And then, number nine, as you see, at the bottom of this device is our humidity pan of this device. As you see all design is easy to clean and round corner design for this part. We should never add chlorinated tap water directly to this pan because the chlorinated tap water will destroy stainless steel components inside the carbon dioxide incubator. And what's more, for the tap water will leave scale buildup inside the humidity pan. So we should avoid this during the working process. Number 10. We should avoid contact with carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas during usual working process around this unit. Number 11. Number 11 is about the maintenance process. During the maintenance process inside the incubator we should make sure to tracking the UV lamp within 10 seconds because this can ensure minimal exposure of our eyes under the UV radiation as is known to all, the UV radiations were harmful for human eyes so we should be careful about these types to protect our person eyes and during this process. Number 12, number 12, is the last tip. During the maintenance process while you meeting some questions, troubleshooting of the unit must be done only by qualified technical service personnel. And if you have some questions, you can't deal with just contact us at service at healforce.com. Remember these safety tips and work safety with our Heal Force incubators. Thank you for your watching. Bye bye.